Hello my friends and business partners from around the world, welcome to my channel. In this video I speak about the Crohn's reduction applied to electrical power systems. Our objective is to calculate the line currents IA, IB and IC, but when there is a ground system or a neutral wire, the ground system of neutral wire is going to influence the value of the currents IA, IB and IC. So, to properly calculate the value of the line current, we need to discount the influence of the neutral wire or grounding by using Crohn's reduction. Let's understand the problem. Here, we have modeled the generator as three power supplies, VAN, VBN and VCN, and the three impedances that represent the copper wires of the generator. ZAG, ZBG, and ZCG. Here we have modeled the transmission line as a series impedance ZAA prime, ZB B prime, and ZC C prime, and the mutual coupling between them ZAB is the mutual coupling between line A and line B, ZBC and ZCA. And here we have represented the mutual coupling between the lines and the neutral wire as ZAN, ZBN, and ZCN. The load in Y is represented by the impedances ZA prime and prime, ZB prime and prime, and ZC prime and prime. And the neutral wire is represented by an impedance Z and prime n and the current that flows through the neutral wire is in we wish to calculate the values of the currents ia ib and ic how are we going to do that let's use kirchhoff's law kirchhoff's law says that van is going to be equal to the voltage drop here IA times ZAG plus the voltage drop here IA times ZAA prime plus the voltage drop here IA times ZA prime N prime. So we write it IA ZAG plus ZA A prime plus Z a prime n prime okay now we have to compute the influences of the mutual coupling ib is going to influence this line here so ib times z a b the same is going to happen when a current passes here. It's going to influence through the mutual coupling the current that passes here. So we model it by IC times ZAC plus plus. Now we have to compute the effect of the neutral wire. There's going to be a voltage drop here. I n times z n prime n plus the mutual coupling between the neutral wire and line a plus z a n okay we are going to do it for all the lines we did here for line a we are going to do the same thing for line B and for line C. And what we get is a matrix. Okay? Is a matrix. But before uh, arriving at the matrix, let's model this entire thing here as the impedance ZA. Okay? So, assume that ZA is equal to Z. AG plus ZA A prime plus ZA prime N prime. 
if we do that, we are going to simplify our calculation. And the same is going to be done by for ZB, ZBG plus ZB, B prime plus Z, B prime and prime. And the same thing is going to be done by for Z, C, which is going to be equal to Z, C, G plus Z, C, C prime plus Z, C prime and prime. Okay? We are going to do that, okay? Instead of writing Z, B, G. Z, B, B prime and Z, B prime and prime, we're going to write this. And instead of writing Z, C, G, Z, C, C prime, Z, C prime and prime, we're going to write this. And we are going to find the following matrix. I invite you to try in your house and to see if you arrive at the same results that I am arriving. Let's see if we speak the same language. Let's see if we find the same results. Okay? We are going to find a matrix of the sort V equals to Z line times the current plus the current of the ground or neutral wire times Zn. Okay? And when we do that, we find the following matrix. V, A, N, V, B, N, and V, C, N equal to Z, A, Z, A, Z, A, B, Z, a, C, Z, A, B, Z, B, and Z, B, C, Z, A, C, Z, B, C, and Z, C, here, I, A, I, B, and I, C, plus the influence of the neutral wire, which is going to be equal to I N Z N N prime Z N N prime Z N N prime plus Z A N Z B N Z C N Okay? Do you guys understand what I say? Here, the voltages, VAN, VBN, VCN, and here ZA, which is ZAG plus ZAA prime plus ZA prime and prime, ZAB, which is the mutual coupling between line A and line B, ZAC is the mutual coupling between line A and line C, okay? Try to do that in your house and you are going to find the same result. Now that we have this, we can create the other matrix, the matrix that is going to enable us to calculate the line currents. Our objective is to calculate the line currents. So let's do it. Let's calculate the line currents. All right. Now, VAN, VBN, and VCN, V and prime N. Okay. Now we have the influence of the ground inside of the matrix Z A Z A B Z A C Z A N Z A B Z B Z B C 
Z B N Z A C Z B C Z C and Z C N and here the ground Z N plus Z A A N Zn plus Zbn, Zn plus Zcn, and Zn. And the current now, we have to multiply it by the current. The current will be Ia, Ib, I C and I N. Okay. Uh, we don't know beforehand the value of V and prime N. We don't know. We don't know this voltage drop. So what we need to do is to get rid of it. Remove it of the equation because if we don't know it, it's not going to help us. How do we do that? We apply Kohn's reduction. Okay? We apply Kohn's reduction. And what we want is to have only this part here. Only this part. How do we apply Kohn's reduction? Okay? How do we apply Kohn's reduction? I'm going to teach you. It's easy there is a very simple formula that's going to enable us calculate the equivalent impedances that result from the application of Kron's reduction the formulas are these z x x prime is going to be equal to z x x minus z x n squared divided by z n n all right very simple form and z x y prime is going to be equal to z x y minus z n n z x n times z y n all right do you guys get it very simple isn't it we are going to use these expressions to find the following following matrix we had a four by four matrix and we want a 3x3 three three matrix, okay? Once again, we had a 4x4 four four matrix and we want to reduce it to a 3x3 three three matrix. And we apply the Crohn's reduction and we find this matrix here. VAN, VBN, VCN equals to z a prime z a b prime z a c prime z a b prime z b prime z b c prime z a c prime Z, B, C prime, and Z, C prime. And here, we have the currents that we want. IA, IB, and IC. Okay? We applied Kron's reduction in that 4x4 four four matrix, and we arrived at this 3x3 three three matrix. It is easy. Now, to find the current that we want to find, 
we simply invert this matrix here. Okay? So let's do it. We, are, we have to invert this matrix here. And when we invert the matrix, we find exactly what we wish to find. So, how do we do it? It is simple. It's going to be IA, IB, IC equals to ZA, A prime, Z, AB prime, Z, AC prime. Z A B prime Z B prime Z B C prime Z A C prime Z B C prime Z C prime We take the inverse We take the inverse of this matrix Okay We don't want this matrix here we want the inverse of this matrix and after getting the inverse of this matrix we multiply by the voltages VAN VBN VCN This matrix here is the impedance matrix but what we want is the admittance matrix when we invert the impedance matrix, we get the admittance matrix, and when we multiply the admittance matrix by the voltage matrix, we get the current. And this is the solution of our problem. This is what we want. So, my friends, this is the video that I wanted to make. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned through it. And if you guys want to talk to me, or book a lesson simply, leave me a message. Goodbye!